Today I want to talk to you a little bit about plagiarism. Plagiarism is a difficult topic for a lot of students because it may not be a concept that's very important in your culture, but it's extremely important to Americans and uh, the consequences can be very severe if you do plagiarize. So I want to go over what plagiarism is and what might happen to you if you do plagiarize in a university class. First let's talk about a definition of plagiarism. Plagiarism is taking another person's words, thoughts, or ideas and representing them as your own. Keep in mind this is not just another person's words. It could also be using their ideas and saying that their ideas are yours. This could be intentional. Sometimes you know that you're copying someone's words. You're cheating. You know that you're doing it. But it can also be unintentional. Sometimes you don't mean to plagiarize. You didn't realize you were doing it. It's still plagiarism even if you didn't mean to do it. Okay, so what's the big deal? Why is plagiarism so important to Americans? This is a definition that explains why it's so important from a good website, plagiarism.org. And they ask, can words and ideas really be stolen? And the answer is yes. According to US law, the expression of original ideas is considered intellectual property. So any original ideas that you have are your property. They belong to you. If someone uses your ideas and tries to pass your ideas off as theirs, they are stealing your property. So the same thing happens to you. If you try to steal someone's ideas or words and say that they're your own, you are stealing. You really are. It truly is against the law. Now let's look at some examples of plagiarism, different ways that you can plagiarize and might not even know that you're plagiarizing. First, let's say you're writing an essay about the differences between men and women, and you find this article. It's a good article, you like what it has to say, and this is a paragraph from the article that you'd like to use. It has a lot of good information in it. The man says that men and women are equal but different, and he explains what he means by equal, and he explains what he means by different, okay? That they're different psychologically and physically. So you like this quote right here because it contains a lot of good information that you'd like to cite in your article. Now, here's one way you might plagiarize. This is the most obvious way, copying the author's exact words. So in your essay, you would say, of course there are many differences between men and women. That sentence is your sentence. Then everything that follows is exactly the author's words. You just took his words, copied them, and put them in your own essay. I think we all know that that's plagiarism. That's wrong. You shouldn't do it. Why is it plagiarism? There were no quotation marks around the author's exact words. There was no reference to the author or his article. And by using the author's exact words without giving any credit, you said, these are my words and my ideas. I came up with this. So again, you're stealing the author's words. Here's another example of plagiarism. You might copy a few words, phrases, or sentences. Not everything. You don't completely copy the whole passage, but you do copy a few things. So this might be your essay. I believe that men and women are equal but different. You can see everything I've written. If it's in italics, that's what was copied from the article. Now you'll notice that some things are the student's original words. There are parts of each sentence that actually belong to the student. But there's still too much that's copied. So why is it plagiarism? Again, there are no quotation marks around the author's exact words. Once again, there's no reference to the author or his article. And again, even though the student incorporates the words into his own sentences, he is still using the author's exact words without giving credit. You can't do that. That's plagiarism. Here's another example. You change the words, but the sentence structure is the same. This one is important because you might think that it's okay to take the author's sentence and just look up synonyms for all of the words. So the student essay looks something like this. It is my belief that men and women are equivalent but diverse instead of, you know, equal but different. Okay, and you can see how some of the words have been changed, but the basic sentence structure is exactly the same. We've just plugged in synonyms for the keywords. Why is this plagiarism? Again, there's no reference to the author or his article. 
Even though the student changed some of the words, he still did not write a sentence that was entirely his own. Your sentences have to be your own sentences. They have to contain your own thoughts, your own ideas, and your own grammatical structure. If you copy the grammatical structure of someone else's sentence, that is plagiarism, even if some of the words are different. And again, he's still representing the author's ideas as his ideas, which is not okay. Another example of plagiarism. This one is common. This is sort of a stupid mistake you might make from time to time, so be careful about this one. This is usually unintentional, and it can happen when you're typing too quickly and you just forget. And that's when you remember to put the quotation marks around the author's exact words, but you forget to put the citation. So the student's essay looks like this. I believe, and you can see that men and women are different, is uh, in quotation marks. You can see everything that is the author's exact words is in quotation marks, but then there's no citation. Why is this plagiarism? There's no reference to the author or his article. The quotation marks do show that the student doesn't want to represent the author's words as his own. That's good. Obviously, you're trying to indicate to us that someone else wrote this. But without a reference to the author, we don't know who originally wrote those words. So it's still plagiarism. Here's another example. This again is another stupid mistake you might make, which is where you remember the citation, but you forget to put the quotation marks. So the student's essay looks like this. Once again, parts of the sentence are plagiarized. Now we've referenced the author, Michael G. Connor, and we've written an in-text citation at the end, but it's still plagiarism. Why? There are no quotation marks around the author's exact words. The student does give credit to the author, that's good, so we know that these ideas are not your ideas, but there's no credit for the words. So the words sound like they're the student's words, okay? The ideas obviously are someone else's ideas, we know that, but we think that the words are the student's words, which makes it plagiarism. Here's a good example. This is something that's not plagiarized. There is no plagiarism because quotation marks are used and the original article is cited. So the student's essay looks like this. Michael G. Connor believes, quote, that men and women are equal but different, end quote. By this, he means that the law equally protects men and women, but they still have many physical and psychological differences. And then we have our in-text citation. There's a lot of paraphrasing there. There's an in-text citation, which references the author, and there's a quote around the author's exact words, which makes it a very good example. Now, I want you to keep in mind, it's totally fine to use the author's exact words. If there's a good quote from the author's article, then use the author's exact words. Just use quotation marks. Please use quotation marks and put a citation. It's not okay, in general, to copy the author's words and not use quotation marks if you've copied more than three words in a row. So in general, the general rule is that you shouldn't copy more than three words in a row without using quotation marks. It's okay to use key words. If you remember from that passage, I did use the words physical and psychological. Those were key words that I copied from the article, but that's okay, because I don't know what else you would say other than physical and psychological. There's no real synonym for those words. Some words just can't be restated, so it's fine if you copy them. Here's my little trick for avo avoiding plagiarism. This is what I do when I'm writing an essay, and it always works for me. It may not work for you, but it's something to try. I think it's a good idea. When I'm trying to paraphrase the author's words, because you don't want to quote too much. It's okay to use quotes every now and then, but not all the time. So when I'm trying to paraphrase, one of the things that I do is I try to look away from the article. If I have a book, then I put the book away. I turn it upside down, I don't look at it. If there's a website, then I close my computer, or I close that page. And I try to write a paraphrase of what I just read based on memory. If I've read it and I understood it, I should remember what I read. And so I try to rewrite what I just read in my own words, just based on memory, without looking at the author's original words. If you do this, it's very likely that you'll have to write everything in your own words because you won't remember the author's exact words. You'll remember the basic ideas, but you won't remember the exact words, so you'll be more likely to write a good paraphrase that doesn't include plagiarism. Now, consequences of plagiarism. This is important. 
especially when you go to the university, because these are real, very real consequences of plagiarism. It's possible that you will fail the assignment. It's also possible, depending on how bad the plagiarism is, that you will fail the class. If it's a very significant case of plagiarism, you could be expelled from the university. And I guarantee that you will always receive a note on your permanent academic record. So that means anywhere you go. If you get a degree from ODU and then you try to apply to graduate school at another university, this will be on your academic record. So when you apply to another university, they'll see that you plagiarized. And that looks bad. It looks very bad. And that could affect your ability to get into another school. More consequences of plagiarism. Now, this is from my old school. I was looking through the Old Dominion website, and I actually surprisingly couldn't find anything about this. But I want to show this because I'm sure that the same thing is true at ODU. But this is actually, you could find this at my old school online, and it told you cases, what happened when someone plagiarized, what the consequences were. So here's a case of a freshman who plagiarized. And if you see down here at the bottom, it says that the teaching assistant for the class gave the student a zero on the assignment. That was their punishment for plagiarizing. If you look at this case, the professor who was teaching the class gave the student an F in the class. They failed the class. In this situation, the professor teaching the class gave the student an XF, which means that they have failed the class and they are going to have to take it again. But before they can take it again, they had to take a development and integrity course. So they had to take this extra class to learn about not plagiarizing before they could take the class again. That's a lot of extra work for one really stupid decision. So obviously, you just shouldn't plagiarize, if at all possible. Now, if you look down here at the bottom, um, I've got a reference here to ODU's webpage. The Honor Council gives you a link on plagiarism and tells you how not to plagiarize. They explain what it is. It's a very good website that has a lot of information on it. If you look here, they tell you what plagiarism is. They explain what cheating is. Um, they talk about the disciplinary procedures, what will happen if you cheat, if you plagiarize. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. And uh, pay attention to this, because this could become a serious issue in your university classes.